Okay, uh, <coughs> I'll talk about this cost structure analysis. Uh, uh, this is the uh, topics for this week and also for uh, last week. So what is the structure of this cost? So I like this uh, definition. The structure means parts and sequence of this cost. If we take an example of a sentence, a sentence structure means the part and sequence of the sentence, such as a subject, a verb, object, or subject and predicate. So the uh, part is a subject, verb, object, or subject and predicate, and the sequence is subject first, then verb, then uh, object. Okay. Uh, the structure of an argument is a claim, justification, and warrant. So the the uh, sequence is a claim first, and then justification and warrant. Uh, a letter, for example, consists of uh, a date, address, a return address, salutation, opening, important information, a closing, and signature, and so on. Now let's look at a letter. <coughs> if we look at the letter here, June 30, 2014, this is the date. And customer service and so on, this is the uh, return, uh, the, the address. Yeah, this is the address. <coughs> uh, dear sir or madam, so this is the salutation. Uh, I have uh, recently ordered a new, this is the opening or the uh, opening information for the letter and then here we have uh, uh, in the letter there is a problem and this is the uh, offer of solution and this is the thanking yeah, and uh, the closing yeah, and then the signature and if we look at that letter yeah we have a date address salutation opening of a letter request yeah there is a request Thanking, closure, signature, and sender, the name of the sender. So these are the parts of uh, the letter and the sequence. This is also the sequence. Yeah? So we cannot uh, reverse the sequence. For example, sender, <coughs> the name of sender first, no, uh, but we have to put the names of the address, yeah? the uh, addresser, yeah? uh, the addressee, sorry. And we cannot reverse the uh, sequence, yeah, opening uh, letter first and then the salutation. No. <coughs> we have to follow the sequence of the letter. So otherwise, our, our letter will uh, read uh, strange, yeah, will sound strange by the readers. A uh, self-promotion letter, uh, the parts first is establishing credential. Uh, establishing, establishing credential is uh, establishing uh, the belief yeah, from the writers to uh, the readers. And then introducing the offer, yeah, the offer like a product or service. Yeah. Remember, this is a, a promotion letter. And then number three, offering incentive. So if the readers or uh, the uh, receiver of the letter uh, get uh, the offer, and then uh, the the writer of the of the letter will give uh, incentives, and then uh, enclosing or attaching documents if there is uh, a more document to attach, and enclosing or the closure of the letter, and then soliciting response, uh, expecting uh, response like. Uh, we are looking forward to hearing from you soon. <coughs> and then using pressure uh, tactic, yeah, using pressure tactics, yeah, we'll see the examples later. And then ending politely, yeah, ending politely. This is the end of the letter. This is according to Bathia 1990. Okay, this is the example of sales uh, promotion letter. Yeah, two, uh, this is the uh, addressee and the name, the company, address, uh, respected. Yeah, this is the uh, salutation. Yeah, 
we are glad yeah, to introduce this is the offer yeah. uh, we are in the business this is a uh, credential yeah. uh, convincing the reader that the sender is uh, qualified yeah. our sales team will be available this is uh, offering incentive and then solitizing yeah, uh, the response looking forward to your response and thank you so there is no here uh, incentive yeah. and then the name of the senders and the company uh, we uh, take another example a structure of an article abstract for example yeah this is the example of the uh, abstract yeah uh, we see this abstract doesn't start with the objective uh, there is an introduction and then the objective and followed by the method uh, result or finding and then conclusion <coughs> so the uh, the uh, part is introduction and then research purpose and then research method uh, research results or finding and conclusion suggestion or implication so there are five parts or segments of the abstract with the sequence of introduction purpose method uh, result and uh, we cannot reverse yeah, the sequence <coughs> we take another example the structure of uh, research article introduction yeah. it is believed or it is found that there are three uh, move in uh, this uh, research article introduction uh, move one is establishing a territory move two establishing a NIF and move three is establishing uh, occupying the NIF and uh, within each uh, move uh, there are uh, also several steps like in move one step one claiming centrality step two making topic generalization and step three reviewing item item from or of previous research in move two uh, step 1a counter claiming 1b indicating a gap 1c 1c question raising and 1d continuing a tradition so we see here in move two yeah, between step 1a and step 1b there is an o so this means we uh, can have uh, only one one step yeah not all steps it is different from move one yeah we may have step one and step two and step three because here the conjunction is n o yeah. and in move three occupying a nif step one a outlining purposes uh, or so we can have outlining purposes or not we can uh, use other steps such as announcing present research announcing principal findings uh, indicating uh, structure of article uh, usually the study of uh, discourse structure is followed <coughs> by uh, the uh, linguistic features of each um, step in each move uh, which characterize uh, the step uh, like here uh, the linguistic feature of move one is like recently there has been a spate of interest in how to yeah in recent years applied researchers have become increasingly interested in yeah, and there are many other <coughs> uh, examples of uh, linguistic uh, characteristics uh, of move one uh, because the aim of move one is to convince readers that the research topic <coughs> that we have uh, chosen is an important one or necessary one and therefore uh, readers uh, should read yeah, the, the article uh, the linguistic characteristics or linguistic realization of move two is uh, usually starting with however yeah, referring to previous studies which has some limitation yeah. however the previously mentioned method suffer from some limitation so 
the author claims that uh, the method used in the previous studies have some limitation. Uh, the second example, the first group uh, of uh, studies cannot treat yeah? so uh, in the same way that uh, previous studies have some limitation. Uh, exa third example, the second group uh, of studies is time consuming and therefore expensive and it uh, is not sufficiently accurate and its result for example or its finding. Yeah? So also here the author or the writer of, the, uh, of this article uh, believes or uh, 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 believes that uh, previous studies is time consuming and, mm, and expensive and therefore and the result is not uh, accurate and therefore uh, we need a further study yeah, to uh, make it better yeah, to be more uh, efficient and effective. Uh, the other example is uh, both studies suffer from the dependency on. Yeah, so this is also a statement to show that uh, previous studies have uh, some uh, kind of limitation. And the other example is the uh, method yeah, upon which the present study is based eliminates many of this uh, limitation by. Yeah, so uh, the present study the authors prom uh, promise the authors promise that the present study is going to be better or is better than uh, previous studies and therefore this study is uh, necessary or important and the uh, linguistic features of more 3 of the introduction uh, section of the article the paper reports on the results obtained <coughs> so reports yeah, the, the word report is used here the aim of the present study is this the objective of the study and uh, in this paper we give preliminary results so this is uh, MOF3 uh, which uh, shows the uh, features of the study which has been conducted yeah and there are other examples of, of this uh, MOF or MOF3 okay uh, so how how to uh, how to do yeah? how to analyze how to do the analysis of the uh, structure of the discourse. First, yeah, we have to find a model structure of the same text or discourse. If we are going to analyze an essay, for example, uh, let's say an argumentative essay, so we have to find uh, previous studies who uh, conducted a similar study and uh, found a model of the structure. Or we have to I find a previous study which uh, use a model that uh, they follow in their study. So we may use the same model to see whether or not uh, the essays that we analyze have a similar model or a different model than the ones available in the uh, literature. Second, we read the discourse objective uh, Objects, sorry, we, we read the discourse objects or the, the discourse samples to get a rough understanding yeah, about <coughs> the parts and sequence. Number three, identify, we identify the keywords and discourse markers in the discourse, uh, the object of the study. Yeah, we find, for example, the keywords yeah, like in the abstract. The key word is uh, the word objective, purpose, aims, the word method, yeah, population, sample, instrument, the word finding, result, and conclusion, and implication, or suggestion. So these are important words in abstract. <coughs> and also the discourse markers such as and, uh, however, yeah, uh, and uh, therefore, yeah, but and so on. Yeah, uh, the discourse markers which may help us uh, identify the discourse parts and sequence, yeah. and then identify the possible parts and sequence of the discourse. Yeah, after identifying keywords and also the discourse markers, yeah, we may be able to identify all these uh, discourse. Uh, uh, 
uh, has uh, several parts and this uh, is the sequence of uh, the parts. Uh, check if the parts and sequence in the discourse follow the model. Yeah, so we check whether uh, our finding is similar to the model that we follow. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter if it, uh, it is uh, similar. Yeah, if it is different, we have to state that this is different. And why is it different? And then to validate our uh, data analysis. Yeah, because this analysis involves a subjective uh, evaluation or subjective judgment. So we have to uh, check whether uh, the way we analyze it uh, is standard uh, or not. And then we have to report uh, our uh, results. Yeah. If it is uh, for a thesis, yeah, we have to write the result of the thesis and the discussion. If it is only a paper, yeah, we have to report the result of the paper. Okay, so this is uh, the topic for the discourse structure and what is the structure, yeah, and then how to analyze uh, the structure yeah, of a discourse. Yeah. Uh, so again, we first uh, find the model, yeah, if it is available. If we cannot find the model, we have to find the model uh, of a discourse similar or close. Yeah, for example, uh, we are looking at uh, a model, we are finding a model of uh, essay, uh, of student essays. Uh, uh, to follow while we are going to uh, analyze an essay in a newspaper. Yeah, the same essay but written by a different group of people. Student essay is written by student, of course, and essays in a newspaper, of course, the is it is written by uh, professional uh, authors, uh, professional writers or journalists. So they may have some similarities or differences. Yeah. So, but if we cannot find uh, the model of uh, essay structure uh, of a newspaper uh, essays or newspaper articles, we may use the model of essays uh, that the uh, uh, students write yeah, to follow. Yeah. And then uh, we may find some differences and similarities.